John Moxley versus Effie. Uh, Effie, I've never heard of before. Oh, from, <laughs> from the oh recent GCW Homecoming Party 1. Uh, I, I sent you the highlights, or as I called them, lowlights. And you tell me what you saw in this 45-second collection of whatever that was. Are, are you going to show it? No. I mean, I can do. You're not... Well, a lot of people may not be familiar with this. Okay. Well, uh, give me one minute and I'll put it up. And let's, they will have a reaction and see if my reaction matched theirs. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm back. Oh, and uh, so is Dutch. We're going to watch this together. And here it is. Do you tell me whenever, uh, when you want me to pause? Fans encouraging Effie. Referee checking the arm. He's still a- Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> What's happening now? Wait a minute. The action speaks for itself. You can, Effie's, on, you, Effie's been choked You out. can pause it now. Okay, then. So what we have is John Moxley putting Effie into a sleeper and Effie rubbing his cheesy cock uh, for some reason. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he looks All like right. he smells. I, I can oh. only imagine he's not had a wash in a while. Well... Okay, is the camera back on me now? Oh, yeah, yeah, the camera's back on you. So, Well, it's on okay, both of us, actually, so, but yes, carry on. Okay, so I don't know where I saw this, and I saw it, and there's more to this if you go and look for it. Mm. He puts him in a sleeper, and then he puts his hands in his own trunks, and he looks like he's masturbating to me. And I'm thinking, and then he throws up with some substance, <clears throat> so use your own mind about that. Mm-hmm. Then he makes a big comeback on Moxley and he's throwing the shittiest looking punches I've ever seen, you know, and well, then let's, Moxley. Let's, fact, let's watch them. In fact, let's watch those they shitty fucking punches. Effie with the big boot in the corner. And now it's time to take Mox under the rainbow. So there's some sort of headlock oh, takeover God, thing. Got caught. And here are the punches. Away on uh, shot oh, they're shot. horrible. Trying to bring home the goal. Okay, so before we, get to the, before we get to the kiss, which is the big controversy, apparently, let's just talk about those punches. They are astonishing. They are. They are. But one thing about it, the punches are, are really drowned out on this next move you're seeing right now. And is the is a kiss between John Moxley and Effie in a wrestling ring. Where was this match at? Where was it? Uh, some promotion, uh, a promotion called Game Changer Wrestling. Okay. And here it is. And there, there it is. He kisses him. And my Another thought is, my, my, my thought is why? Why even, even being this match? To me, I don't know why Moxley agreed to that. If he said, okay, Dutch, I'm going to be punching you and punching and punching, all of a sudden you block one and just plant a big, deep kiss on me. I said, no, I'll plant a big, fat boot in your ass is what I'll plant. <laughs> because I damn it, he looks, he looks, if I was gay, I damn sure wouldn't be kissing that guy. <laughs> I mean, but I'm thinking, and, and, Everybody that goes to his shows, they're aware of the fact that he's gay. There's nothing to that. But to me, is they really violate my space as a viewer, because I can accept that you're gay. I just don't want to see you kiss another guy. And what if I'd have brought a kid with me? And I don't know if that even affects them anymore. They, they see so much stuff anyway. But... I don't, I don't understand the, even the need for this in there unless they just say, hey, let's, let's make history. Let's be like the show the big kiss and we'll get a lot of clicks on it, which they, they, they will. They'll get a lot on it. But me personally, I, I, I didn't like it. If I had promoted that show, I'd have fired both of them when they come back because they should have cleared that with me. Uh, I just didn't like it at all. Now, I think we run into something here that extends beyond wrestling. 
I think one's gay, one apparently isn't, or could be now. I don't know. He may have liked the kiss. I don't know. But I think that's part of the woke generation because now, oh, it's 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 all fine. Well, what is next? The actual sex act in the middle <laughs> in the middle of the ring. They all they almost got there. So, and I think it's uh, like they want John Moxley can now be woke. I guess showing people that you're they're part of the LGBTQPRTRY. Just keep adding letters to the community. That's fine, but. Does this help their cause? I don't think it helps their cause, whatever their cause is. But let's just go down to say, I didn't like it. Would I book it again? No, that would have been the last time I'd have booked it. And it have been the last time I'd have used any of those two guys. Because I think Effie owns it. He owns that federation, doesn't he? You tell me. I, I've never heard of that. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know who owns it. But I've heard Game Changer, so... But at least they're staying with the theme of their promotion, Game Changer. I don't know how much it will change the game, but I don't know how that helps wrestling at all. I really don't. I've, I've got something that bugs me about it, apart from the fact that I wasn't sort of particularly amazed to watch it and I thought, well, that's really not a great thing for uh, uh, a wrestling match. Uh, I'm trying to choose my words very carefully. And but here's something: is that if you criticize it, we're in 2022. Yep. Everybody will jump down your throat and say, "Well, if you didn't like it, you must be homophobic." It's yes. Like, well, no, of course not. But do you know what I mean? It's like now it's because it involves a, a kiss between two men. You cannot criticize it lest lest you are called many many names and many mm-hmm. accusations are thrown at you. Well, I don't give a shit. I don't like two guys <laughs> kissing it. And it, it was like, you're watching a golf tournament, right? Now, tell me this. You're watching a golf tournament, and all of a sudden, one golfer looks at the other, and the other looks at him, and, oh, my God, they're just overcome with passion. And they kiss right there on the 18th hole. I mean, how does that help the game of golf? It has nothing to do with it. So you mean all these sportscasters, they'd say, well, they kissed on the 18th green, and we'll be back in a moment. They got to say something about it. So, hey, I don't, I don't mind anybody being gay. I don't. Don't, don't intrude on my space and think that I may enjoy watching two men kiss because I don't like that. And if, if they can consider that homophobic, then I'm homophobic. I don't, I don't care. So, but I, I, I don't know the spot for it other than it is to push a certain agenda and whether they'll get that, I don't know. I, I think they hurt their cause more than they help their cause there. 